Hey, what's up tech fam? Welcome back to our channel. Today we have something special for you because we have just got our hands on the latest flagship from Oppo, the Reno 10 Pro Plus. Oppo's Reno series has always been focusing on stylish designs and good camera systems for daily photos and portraits, and the Reno 10 Pro Plus is no different. It not only has the first ever telephoto portrait camera on the Reno series, but also a brand new design to it, especially the dual tone camera module. In this video, we're taking a deep dive into all the details and sharing my thoughts on this new powerhouse device. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Beginning with the unboxing experience, right off the bat we get the phone itself with a beautiful silvery grey finish on the back. We'll talk about the colour and material later. Other than the phone, we also have a Type-A charging brick that supports Oppo's Superboot flash charge, a Type-A to Type-C charging cable, a default silicon phone case, a SIM ejector, as well as a user manual, and that's pretty much it. First of all, let's talk about the design and build quality of the Oppo Reno 10 Pro Plus. Beginning with the back, the silvery grey colour creates a subtle metallic texture, and most importantly, it's finger print resistant, so you don't need to worry about the back being all marked up. As for the camera module, we see a dual tone design using both glass and aluminum, and there is even a cool light pattern on the glass panel, adding another layer of design to the phone. However, there is one thing that drives me crazy, it's the fact that all three cameras are not on the same line. While the two cameras on top are aligned to the center, the bottom camera just shifts to the left side. I don't really know why they chose to design it this way. On the side, we have the traditional green marking on the lock button. The bottom of the phone has stayed the same, with one SIM tray, one Type-C port, as well as speaker grills. Also, the phone will is around 194 grams and is around 8.28 millimeters thick. It certainly is not the thinnest phone on the market, but it's still comfortable to hold in hand. Overall, the Oppo Reno 10 Pro Plus has a premium and high-end vibe that truly sets it apart. Moving on to the display, the Reno 10 Pro Plus has a stunning 6.74-inch curved AMOLED display with a resolution of 2,772 by 1,240 pixels, which translates to a pixel density of around 450 pixels per inch, meaning texts and images will be crispy sharp. At the same time, its side bezel are only 1.38 millimeters thick, creating a more immersive user experience. The colors on this panel are incredibly vibrant and punchy, while still maintaining a natural tone, thanks to its 10-bit color depth, so watching online movies or videos would be great on this phone. As for brightness, the screen has a maximum of 500 nits of brightness indoors, and 1,100 nits of brightness outdoors, so you can still see your screen even in direct sunlight. It also supports a high refresh rate of 120 hertz, ensuring buttery smooth scrolling and animations. At the same time, it also supports a dynamic refresh rate, meaning it can switch between different speeds to save battery. It supports four different refresh rates, including 45, 60, 90, and 120. Overall, whether you're binge watching your favorite shows or playing graphics intensive games, the Reno 10 Pro Plus display truly enhances the overall experience. Now let's talk about what's under the hood. The Reno 10 Pro Plus is powered by the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor, coupled with 12GB of RAM and 256GB of ROM. This combination of hardware ensures that the device can handle most daily tasks you throw at it. Gaming on the Reno 10 Pro Plus is a delight, and it handles most games out there. Even for graphic intense games like Genshin Impact, the phone can still handle it fairly well when you turn down some of the settings. I managed to pass the spiral abyss with this phone, so gaming should be no problem. So, whether you're a power user or a mobile gaming enthusiast, the Reno 10 Pro Plus has got you covered with its outstanding performance. One of the standout features of the Reno 10 Pro Plus is its camera system. So, let's start with some camera specs. On the rear, we have a triple camera setup with a 50 megapixel main camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, an impressive 64 megapixel telephoto camera, as well as a 32 megapixel front facing camera. Now, let's talk about image quality by comparing it to the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Starting with the main camera in daytime conditions, as we can see, both phones produce great images. When we zoom in, it's actually hard to tell which phone produces a sharper image. While there is little difference in terms of sharpness, we do see some difference in dynamic range and post-processing. In comparison to the iPhone, the Reno 10 Pro Plus will raise the shadows and lower the highlights to create a more pleasing image. Sometimes it makes the photo look better. However, sometimes it just makes the whole image kind of washed out since there is not a lot of contrast going on. Also, we do sometimes see the Reno 10 Pro Plus having less dynamic range than the iPhone, which is something to keep in mind. Moving to the ultra-wide camera, since the main focus of the Reno 10 Pro Plus is actually its portrait capabilities, the phone only has an 8 megapixel ultra-wide camera instead of the more common 12 megapixel camera. However, despite the fact it has fewer megapixels, the images coming out of the camera are actually quite good when we compare them to the iPhone. As we can see, in this comparison shot, both phones look equally sharp. The only difference, again, is the way they deal with colors. The iPhone looks more punchy and has more contrast than the Reno 10 Pro Plus. As for the telephoto camera, this is where the Reno 10 Pro Plus starts to shine. 
Looking at this comparison shot, we can see that both telephoto cameras are equally sharp when we zoom in, but the Reno 10 Pro Plus just looks washed out. My take is that because the intended purpose of the telephoto lens is for portrait shots, and people tend to like portrait shots with less contrast, the phone will make some adjustments to the photo to reduce contrast. While this might be a good idea for portrait shots, it just kind of ruins other daily photos. For example, if we want to take a photo of some delicious food or some cool buildings, we typically want more contrast to make the photo look punchy, but with Oppo's post-processing, it just makes a worse photo. Other than the camera hardware, the Reno 10 Pro Plus also has Oppo's self-developed Mary Silicon XNPU that's specifically made for image processing. So, let's look at some nighttime comparison shots to see how powerful the Mary Silicon X can be. Beginning with this comparison shot, it's quite funny because the Oppo has less contrast thing has just flipped. Now, the iPhone doesn't look as good as the Reno 10 Pro Plus, since it has all the highlights clipped, while the Reno 10 Pro Plus still manages to capture all the highlight information, making the whole image more pleasing to look at. At the same time, while both photos suffer from some ghosting effects, as we can see in this comparison shot, the ghosting effect is quite subtle on the Reno 10 Pro Plus. So, if you like taking photos at night, then the Reno 10 Pro Plus can handle it easily. As for videos, the iPhone and the Oppo Reno 10 Pro Plus produce very similar results. The main difference is again the way they handle different colors. When it comes to stabilization, they all perform pretty well. However, I do experience some lagginess when recording videos with the Oppo Reno 10 Pro Plus. I hope this will be fixed in future firmware updates. Moving on to the battery, the Oppo Reno 10 Pro Plus is equipped with a big 4,700 milliamp hour battery that easily gets you through a full day of usage. Whether you're streaming videos, playing games, or browsing social media, you won't have to constantly worry about battery life. As for charging, Oppo's SuperVoop flash charge technology has got you covered. With the included charger, the Reno 10 Pro Plus can be charged from 0 to 100% in 27 minutes, thanks to its 100 watt SuperVoop fast charging. This is essential for people who are always on the go. Finally, let's talk about software. The Reno 10 Pro Plus runs on Oppo's Color OS 13.1, which is based on Android 13. We still get the familiar user interface, and you can customize the way your phone looks in the settings page. As for security, we still get facial recognition and fingerprint unlock on the phone. So, there you have it. The Reno 10 Pro Plus is undoubtedly a flagship device that ticks all the right boxes for a stylish phone with a good camera system. If you're in the market for a high-end smartphone that focuses on stylish design and portrait cameras, then the Reno 10 Pro Plus is definitely worth considering. What do you think of this device? Let me know in the comments down below. For tech and gadgets, we've got you covered, and I'll see you next time.